Um, it's been a while, but I have no excuse not to make these YouTube videos anymore because your girl got laid off. No, we're not saying that. Okay, it's been a little bit and I have a bunch of shit that I bought in the past couple months. I'm going to Miami this weekend for a friend's birthday. So I just kind of wanted to show Everyone loves a little haul, so it's been a while and I want to show what I got so far and I need to try on some of these things, so I figured I'll just do that while I'm doing this video, but I want to share some of my recent favorites that I've been loving and also just have a little try on haul as well, so start off, I bought these off of Poshmark, but these are the Shavoki glasses. I don't remember the actual, the name of the shape of the glasses or whatever besides the brand is Shavoki or Shavok. and I saw these in a store down in South Florida and I really liked them, but I didn't want to splurge on them. You know, they do look like those, like everyone's type of Ray-Bans that they kind of have, not Ray-Bans, sorry. Um, the glasses everyone can kind of purchase from Amazon. But if you like felt the weight of them, cause I've also purchased a similar pair on Amazon, it's a lot heavier and you can just feel that it's a nicer material. So I purchased these nude beige colored rectangular glasses that I really do like. They don't really stay on my nose well. I wanted a black pair, but I was like, you know what, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna purchase these if they're like not perfect on my face. So this is the first thing that I got that I was excited about. And then I've been looking for a new hairspray and I love Shumera. I was between this brand and Orbe for a uh, hairspray, but I really, really like this one. It smells really, really good, and it's a finishing hairspray. I got the Moya Hold, which is a strong hold, but this is my hair naturally, like out of the shower, brushed, and it just does not hold a curl well, and I feel like it holds it pretty, pretty good. So, recommend this hairspray if you're looking for a new hairspray. I'm trying the Summer Fridays Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. It's nice. I just haven't found a face oil that I've loved. Like I absolutely like love love, you know? I've just been using this to wash all my face in the mornings, but I don't really feel passionate about it. I don't think it's like amazing, but it is, sorry, I have like chalk under my fingernails. It, it does the job, so we'll see if I end up liking that even more. Okay, sorry to ruin the aesthetic of this video, but I'm hopping in. I have face cream on right now. I don't think I like this oil, by the way. Just wanna let you guys know, not that anyone really cares, but it comes out super yellow on your face. I know that's the tint of the oil, but I am breaking out here. I'm breaking out here. I've only used this oil for, I want to say, maybe four days tops. And I mean, and this could just be like pre-PMS stuff, but I I don't know. I've been gua sha my face every day and I usually don't break out. So I'm gonna recommend the one that I used before this, which I also didn't think I loved, but I at least wasn't breaking out. So I recommend the Ella Luz Oil by Kamiya K K O K O H O. So it looks like this. That's what I was using before I started using the Summer Fridays one and did not have an issue with it. I'm gonna go back to that one. But I also got that and their Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. This consistency reminds me of the Belief one, True Cream or whatever. It's very light and it just has that same kind of texture from the True Belief one. I would say I like this product better than the oil so far, but we'll see. Also got the number 12 Bronzing Face Drops. I've been using this here and there. Uh, just because my body's very tan, but I just feel like my face is always pretty pale just because I'm either having sunscreen on it or I don't know why, I just think in general it's just lighter. Yeah, I've been trying these. I really like them. You just put a couple with your moisturizer and then you just blend it into your face. I also just don't feel like I see that much of a difference though with this yet. So again, just trying these out for now because I've heard good things about it, but this is from Lux Unfiltered. So let's start off with all of my Princess Polly stuff. I just got this in, so I'm really excited. It's only a few things. But the first thing is this Yeehaw hat in the color beige. I think they also have a green color as well. But I've been wanting a good, cute, even though it's like going into winter now, cowboy hat. I know they were really popular this summer, but I never got a chance to getting one that I really, really liked. And so I'm hoping this one is it. There's like a bow in the front. Okay, the way it's folded just, I feel like it's not flattering, but. 
Okay, um, I don't think I like this. <laughs> Unless it's just not folded right. I think it's partially squished in the box. It's just not sitting how I would like on my head. I don't know, I'll have to see when I edit this footage what this looks like on the camera because I can't really see, but okay, yeah, it just looks a little like flat up here. So may return this, not sure if I'm loving it completely. Okay, so I got this, it's just a brown tank top. So I saw a lot of people pairing this tank top, which is like this really basic brown tank top. It's, a, it's ribbed as well. I got it in the US, I saw, oh my God, what? Okay, no, I definitely need a bigger size than this. I got it in a US zero, but I thought I got it in a US four, but I got it in an Australian UK four. I don't think that's gonna fit my body. <laughs> We're gonna see what this looks like on, but I'm kind of scared to put this on because I'm definitely not a zero, but we'll see what that looks like on. I wanted to pair it with these brown pants that I saw that there were some girls wearing them together and I really, really like the combination of the two. I've been really wanting to pull off these trousers for a while. I just feel like I'm too short and my body shape just does not look the best with this on, but we'll see if I hem them because there are these other trousers in this like lighter tan color I might bring to Miami that I just hemmed. So I was thinking this and this is really cute, but we'll see what this looks like on. So it looks really cute on like taller girls, but I'm only like five feet tall. Oh yes, okay. So I saw this mini skirt that they had online on their website and it looked really, really cute. But of course the model had like six feet long legs. And so let's see what this looks like on as well because I like a mini skirt and I like, like mini dresses and um, things that are just a lot shorter on me because I want to show off my legs and I just feel like I'm already short. I don't know, just to elongate myself, I guess. So I'm gonna try these on and see what these look like. On to Windsor. I had a wedding this past weekend that I was trying to find a last minute dress for and that was on me because I waited so long to find a dress, but also like it wasn't, I knew it was at least a month-ish away and I was ordering stuff, so I felt like that was like ample amount of time to get a dress <laughs> and get it hemmed, but maybe that was my fault. Anyways, I've just been having a lot of issues with Windsor's delivery. I ordered this almost three weeks ago and I'm just now receiving it and they're in California. So I'm not sure like what's going on with the delivery process with them because I ordered my Princess Polly stuff like last week. So just a heads up, but I really hope this blazer works out because I want to wear it with this set that I have over here from, I think it's Meshki. I'll put this inspo picture of Hailey Bieber in the look that I'm trying to go for for this weekend in Miami. So I'm hoping this blazer works out because I already returned two other ones from like misguided or something that it just didn't look right. So let's see what happens with this. I got this skirt. I'm not even going to open I guess I can't. No, I'm not even going to open it. Um, as a backup, if this other skirt didn't come in, but I already hemmed this skirt, so I'm not even gonna show this one to you, but it's basically like this beige skirt that I'm gonna show you, but it's uh, a beige tan leather mini skirt. Okay, so this is the final, final reveal, but this is what I'm hoping is gonna tie my whole outfit together. So I got this leather blazer in the size medium for like an oversized fit. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm excited. I think it might work fine. It's not the exact same color as my other set, but I am going to try this on for you and see if this works. Okay, honestly, I've had these boots for a while and fall's here, winter's coming up, and I just, I, <laughs> I've been wanting to wear them out, but they're just so freaking uncomfortable. And they're not even that tall, so I just have not been grabbing them. I think they're from 4th and Seekers. Sorry, 4th and Reckless. These are from 4th and Reckless, I'm pretty sure. I thought these were so cute. The heel, I feel like, is a 1, 2. Maybe a 3 inch or 2 and a half. So it's not that tall, but I don't know why. They're just really uncomfortable. I think it's because the heel is just so thin that it's just not distributed right to me. 
because I'm not much of a heel girl. I like to be comfortable, but I also love a high knee boot and I don't have any brown. And this is like this like chocolate uh, reptile. What is this? Snake skin, alligator skin, faux, whatever. So cute. Okay. So I went to Zara. I got these really cute... I keep saying cute. I got these like little heels from Zara last time I went. And they're a square toe, two straps. I just thought that they were really simple. I have a lot of weddings, not a lot. I just had one recently and then I have one coming up, but I feel like these are good. Welcome party or for the wedding. I really like these and they're comfortable. They're not too high. I don't know where the second pair of these, the second she went, but I've been wanting for this whole like nude blazer look, Hailey Bieber inspired. I have been wanting nude wrap up shoes and the way she wore them was with a really high heel, which I just can't do if I'm like actually gonna trying to have fun at night with my friends and like walking around. So I opted for, I don't know what this is, maybe two inches of a heel from Revolve. They're by Ray. I think it's Ray the label, but it says Ray. And even though these aren't high either, this part of the shoe is tight on my foot and it kind of cuts off the circulation when I've tried it on. So I'm interested to see how these will hold up during this weekend, but I think they'll do just because this part is a little thicker and gives me some support, but I, it's just right here, it's hurting. But it's just really minimalistic and I think it'll look really cute with the outfit. So yeah, this is one of the shoes, if I could find another one. And I think I got the, I got a discount off of these from Revolve because I think these were either damaged or someone returned them and they were damaged or something and I'm not sure what's wrong with them but I guess I'll find out. I've been wanting a purse that is just like a bodega. Okay, I'm just embarrassed because I googled this, how to pronounce it, and it's pronounced bodega. I'm saying bodega as in a little grocery store. So just ignore how many times I'm saying this wrong in the next couple seconds but not a bodega because I don't want to spend the money for it. And I don't know how, I, th I think I was typing in like faux bodega replicas or loops like or something online and I found this one and I forgot what the brand is that I bought. I don't know if it's really a brand. It's, it's a website though that they make these kinds of purses and I really, really like this one. I wish these straps weren't here so you could kind of hold it as a clutch, but you can't detach them, so that's a little frustrating. I think that it's still really cute. Again, this is supposed to go with that outfit, so hopefully this will look perfect together, but I'm looking at the tones of everything and it's completely off. Anyways, lots of room. Very good dupe for the Bottega. Bottega or Bodega? I'm saying Bodega. Bo Bottega. Okay, I don't know where my other clip went. These are just simple clips. I know it's really basic. I got it from Shop Luna Lab, and they have a tan color, and then they have this black one, and they're just so sleek and simple. I just think it's good, simple hair clip staples to have. So, you know, the color green was really in this past season. It still might be for a little bit longer, but I thought this was really, really cute. It's an oversized button-up that I got from Amazon. I got this color and I also got, it might be in my laundry basket, but it's this beige color. And it's just simple and nice to throw on with the bandeau, with the bra, and some jeans. I wear it with a baseball cap, but it's an oversized guy's button up. I think is just good to have in your closet. You could dress it up with some knee high boots. You could put them with some white sneakers. I don't know. I just thought this was a really pretty color. I don't really have bright colors in my closet. I really stick to plain stuff, but this I thought to get, why not? And then also brings me to this shirt. This material is so nice. I'm pretty sure this one's from, not Luna Lab, it's Luna B. I always keep thinking it's Luna Lab. Shop Luna B. I'm pretty sure this one is from there as well. And I just got this recently and I'm pretty sure it was on sale, but it's this like, I don't know what material this is. It's soft. It's a nice material too. It's nicer than that one. Yeah, I don't usually wear pink. I don't usually like pink, but why not spruce up my wardrobe a little bit? I saw this girl wearing this on TikTok and I just had to have it. It's this really pretty blue aloe yoga set. It's not really a set, I guess it's just shorts, but I also got the matching bra that goes with it. And 
it is the prettiest color on the website it looks purple which really threw me off and i feel confident when i wear it and when i'm working out i got the size medium in the shorts just because i like the looser fit a little bit more than a tight fit so there is a drawstring to tighten it up if you'd like i think i got a small on the top though hold on i got a small in the uh, the sports bra but i got this also in the color black and these shorts are just so comfortable and very soft you guys have to get these i've been wanting a brown blazer oversized i returned one from sisters and seekers to not look right on me and so i tried this one on i was between the two and this color is just a little bit lighter and it just feels like an oversized dad blazer yeah i decided to keep this one instead and i think it'll be cute to to wear for winter i know this is nothing but i just got this meshki tank top and it's in the, just this like beige color and i don't know why i just really like it <laughs> i it's just simple it straps are like that core type of material and then they have a little m in the back which i thought was kind of annoying but they have to bring their stuff and i knew that so i just think this is a good staple to have to put under anything boots i have been trying to find the perfect pair of black cowboy boots and I don't know if these are it. These are definitely really, really good quality. I ordered these and I also ordered the Steve Madden, I don't know what they're called, but Jenna Palak was talking about these boots that she had and it looked really cute and I pre-ordered them a while ago. I got them in. They look really, really cheap. They weren't cheap at all actually. So I don't know why the material was made so poorly because the price was, at, I think it was at least a hundred something dollars. These are the Jeffrey Campbell Daggett boots, I'm pretty sure, but I had no idea that this was a muted black wash color. I I'm really looking for a shiny black strong color so that's the only thing holding me back from these the quality really is amazing though i can definitely tell these boots compared to the steve madden ones that these are just so much better of a quality than the other ones i'm still debating keeping these or not i do really really like them the size fits perfectly it's a six with room for socks and stuff so they do run a little bigger i would say but i like that because i like to wear my nike you know the ones that go like up here i like to wear them with these boots and they're a little thicker almost done these are the two outfits i'm bringing to miami so this is from meshki so i'm gonna wear this under the tan leather blazer even though it's a different tone this is the top which is the mala faux leather square neck top in the color camel and i got it in the size small the back is like a bra there's three different sizes i guess you could clasp to and there's four clasps each per row so it's very secure this with the skirt the tag got ripped off with the skirt because i had to get it him to be a mini it was definitely a little bit too long for my height and i really wanted this to be a mini skirt so i got i think an inch and a half hemmed from the bottom so i'm excited to try this on because i haven't done it yet i was waiting for the blazer to come in so i'm about to show you this wall off in a second i got this top which is like a really skimpy bralette i'm pretty sure this is from revolve it's from the brand nbd and i got it in the size small i'm thinking this paired with these cream trousers and then possibly a blazer but i just it might be too much so i am excited to try these on as well because i got these him they were way too long for me i want to see this put together as well okay sorry last but not least <laughs> i was going to show these i forgot about them i also got these for miami i don't i might return them but i also might just wear this one if we go to Komodo or something. I got the matching trousers for it. I looked like a stuffed sausage in those pants. So I would probably either keep this black one or this blue one, which is like a really pretty color. I don't think I even have this color in my whole closet for this corset, which is really pretty. And then the girl was wearing them with these gloves. I just don't know if that's just too much, but I do actually like them together. I might put these on for you if I feel like it again, but I tried them on, it was, it was really hard to get on, so. Okay, I'm gonna put everything on and then I'll come back. Also, just a disclaimer, I ended up returning probably about half of these items um, after having them for a few days and figuring out if I actually would wear them. You know, my motto now is it's either a fuck yes or a fuck no. So basically, if I really love it, I'm gonna keep it. If it's a maybe, then I'm just going to return it because that probably means I won't wear it. Just a little tip. I just dropped the shit out of my camera and then broke my nail. I broke my camera too, like my lens is a little like fucked up. So that's fun, but the outfit though, I think is a winner. Remember picture, inspo? This, the set, made 
need this mini skirt, like I said, the nude heels, which I just threw these through the lacing a little bit. I think it's cute. I think it's gonna work. What do y'all think? I like it. I like it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair, but the vibe. Oh, with the purse, with the purse. Okay, but with the clutch, y'all, this, put in the picture now. You know? Who is she? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull this, this brown blazer to show you, since this is already here. Where am I going? Nowhere. But cute. Okay, anyways, I'm not gonna put on everything to be honest, I just can't. Imagine it, probably not with this outfit. I don't see that for this, but not with outfit. But just so you can see, I think these come in one size and I'm pretty sure it's like a large. Y'all, this really freaking hurts. It's like killing my vibe. Okay, bear me. Okay, so I just put on this outfit, which I think is so cute, but these are really tight on my stomach and I haven't even had dinner or anything yet. So that sucks, but I will work on that. <laughs> Hemmed perfectly. I just paired it with those Zara heels that I was showing you. And I think this is so cute. Like I just feel like my legs are just really long. If I could just, if this was just a little bit bigger for me. And then if I paired it with a blazer, just so you can get the final look. Pairing it with the blazer. How freaking cute. I feel like I just got done with a really important meeting. I am a CEO. Making low bun. Let's use, let's use the clip. Like I feel like I need to be taking a LinkedIn picture right now, you know? These are the vibes I'm getting. Business meeting, dinner, you know? Okay, anyways. Okay guys. Um. This will not close. <laughs> so, it's disappointing. Oh my God, this is so tight. Fuck. Okay. Um, I'm liking the monochromatic I'm seeing with my hair and like my skin. This was almost there, it just was very far from it. This is just, I mean, I guess it's stretchy, so it's fine. I still think I should not be in a zero. I don't know what to do about this. I know this won't fit. This I might keep, but I also might just get a bigger size because I just don't know. But the idea of this, if you have the right sizing, I feel like is really cute. Mm, I'm just gonna close, I'm gonna hold this here. Okay, thank you so much for watching this train wreck of a haul. I'm balancing it on two of those little packets that you put in your water. Two boxes that are completely unstable. There's only like five packages in there, so there's no weight to them at all. But no wonder my camera broke and my nail broke, and this is already wobbling, as you can see. Okay, I just need to not touch the table. Um, I'm gonna try to have my shit together next time so it's not this chaotic, but I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions about sizing or just my well-being, please put them in the comments below. And thank you so much. I will see you next time.